Hey everybody, welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Ron Placone and the miserable liberal. Hello. Hello. So I want to show you a few things. This is a quote from Bernie Sanders. He said, you're, go you're asking a good question and I can't give you a definitive answer. What does the Democratic Party stand for? He says, certainly there are some people in the Democratic Party who want to maintain the status quo. They would rather go down on a Titanic <laughs> so long as they have first class seats. <laughs> That's what that says. They would rather go down with the Titanic so long as they have first class seats. And those are called corporate Democrats. Those are called the people who supported Hillary in the primary. That's, those are people called almost all the Democrats elected. That's, that's what they are. Why do I bring this up? Because, uh, again, the, it's super important that we have plans to help fix the country instead of just anger uh, to oppose someone. You have to have something to replace it. I've been saying this since Trump got elected. You got to before you got to fight something with something. You can't find it with nothing. And that's what the Democrats are doing. And that's what he's talking about. Yeah, there's some of them that they don't care that they're Republicans and that they don't serve the people because they're profiting from it. All those people, Tom Perez, everybody in the Obama White House, everybody who worked at the Clinton Foundation. They all profited from this system, the system that ruins our country. Neoliberal, bullshit, corporatism system. You know, I, I appreciate Bernie Sanders saying this, but I really wish after status quo there was comma, and unfortunately those are the ones with the most power. I, I feel like that's one thing that, that's missing from what he said. I agree. That's important. Here I follow this gentleman, Russ Lewis, on the tweeters. <laughs> and uh, he says the Dems should change their name to Don Quixote Party because they're fighting imaginary Russian windmills instead of inequality <laughs> and discontent. You can't see me, Russ, but I'm standing up doing a slow clap. <laughs> well said, sir. Because they're fighting imaginary Russian windmills instead of inequality and discontent. And we showed you in a story yesterday that the people in the heartland, or maybe I talked about it on the premium, that the, that's what it was. I, the people in the heartland don't, this does not register with them, the Russia scare. They just, Pew just came out, Democrats are less popular than, than Trump with all this bullshit McCarthyism. And the Democrats are still, you know why? Because they don't have anything to offer. Russ got it right. Why don't you just start talking about what you want to do? Because they don't want to do anything. They don't want to implement $15 minimum wage. They don't want to implement single-payer health care. They don't want to end the wars and cut the military budget. They don't want to re-regulate Wall Street, break up the big banks. They don't want to give free tuition for colleges. They don't want to have card check and have strong unions. They're not Democrats. They're not left. And the people, then those, and instead of putting forward a, a platform, they're not. They're doing that bullshit of screaming at Russian windmills, fighting imaginary Russian windmills. <laughs> That's not a plan to give people health care. That's not a plan to educate people. That's not a plan to give people uh, affordable housing. That's not. That's not a plan. And some of the dinos really hate windmills because that would mean less fracking. And why is this important? Why do I bring this up? Because Bernie Sanders at the West Virginia. So this is a, he went to Trump County or Trump Town, right? This is this is all that's about. Hey, we're going to Trump. I love that. And MSNBC is going with Bernie now because he gets ratings. Uh, before he would have got ratings too, but they had to kneecap him so he didn't undermine their corporate bosses. <laughs> you know the agenda of Comcast. But now the. Chris Hayes is touring with him. <laughs> Before he was touring with a video of the empty P Trump's podium, but now Chris Hayes is going around meeting. Uh, he's going around meeting people, and he's trying to figure out why. What the huh, huh, I'm done. What's going on? Like you have to travel around and meet people to figure out what's wrong with the country. First of all, to me, that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's like, oh look, I'm gonna go find out what's wrong with the country. You don't know what's wrong with the goddamn country. Anyway, so they go there. And um, watch this. Watch this. Bernie gives a, a, a policy 
a, a liberal progressive policy choice and watch how this red state crowd reacts. These are Republican Trump voters they're talking to. Watch what happens when a, when, when a Democrat, he's not a Democrat, watch what happens when, when a politician proposes a concrete solution that has been proven to work in other countries. Watch how this Trump voting crowd responds to a progressive offering them a real solution to their problems. Watch how they respond. He doesn't talk about Russia. Let's watch what he talks about. What do you think? Do you think we should join other countries and guarantee health care as a right of all? Yeah, I think every American citizen should have health care. That's actually... Jimmy, can we point out, too, this is not the first time he's done something like that at all like this is i mean there was that debate on cnn where he like pretty much there was that hairdresser that wanted to hate him too and he single-handedly convinced her after she was ready to rip him apart well, he said he said to her you should you know under our system you have to provide health care but you shouldn't have to and he said to her that's why i want you to join me mm-hmm. in fighting for single payer yeah, right. He single-handedly convinced her, and she wanted to hate him. Like she had daggers in her yes. eyes towards him. And he sing before he was done. He convinced her universal health care was the way to go. I mean, this That's is a, a guy that definitely had no chance at winning. Definitely had no <laughs> chance of winning. He couldn't have competed with Trump. All he did was have fantastic ideas that have been proven to work. Educating people, investing in people's education, giving people affordable single-payer health care. These crazy, crazy fairy duster ideas that are being implemented all around the world. <laughs> but not here. You're a fairy duster. He's a fair that's a fairy dust. Look at a bunch of Trump voters just applauded that. And I don't know if you saw that one guy. His hands his hands were on speed. Watch this. What do you think? Do you think we should join you, other should countries? We join other countries? And guarantee health care as a right of old? Yeah. I think every American citizen should have health care. <laughs> Watch this guy's hands. Watch how fast this guy's hands are going. <laughs> That's some pretty fast hands. So there you go. There's a politician shows up in a red state, offers them a simple solution. That's a 19 second clip. Offers them a solution. The crowd goes north. Crow and the crowd goes wild. You know what doesn't get that reaction? You know, again, we have to have transparency, and we have to have we have to lead with our values. And when we lead with our values, and our, you know that we're the good but good job party, that that's what we have to we have to get. It was a lack of transparency that created a situation that made people feel like that we were corporatists selling them out and fucking them over because we were and stuff. <laughs> that's what gets applause in a red state. That's what gets votes. That's what moves people to the polls. That's what makes a country better. You know what doesn't? Well, you know, it was a lack of transparency. I really, I really feel like that as if the Democrats lead with their values of everyone gets a fair shot. This is my Tom Perez impression. Yes, by the way. yes, it's, it's right on. Mealy mouth losers is what Tom Perez is. Tom Perez is a corporate mealy mouth loser who's bent on r- writing his first class ticket. To another Trump presidency. That's who the Democratic National Committee is. It's all populated by people who are screaming Russia, who supported Hillary in the primary, mm-hmm. and are fucking corporatist losers. That's how you win. You have a, a policy that actually helps people. A policy that's been proven to work. And you don't apologize for it. That's how you win. There you go. Thanks, Bernie. He, he's not a Democrat. Thank God. <laughs> hey, our next show is March 20th in Burbank. It's almost sold out. Our next show after that is April 3rd in Hollywood at the Improv. Links for tickets right below.